Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today is wash day! Yay! I have my hair in this puff for approximately six days, which is disgusting. Ew, my scalp itches. It's very dirty, so I need to wash my hair ASAP. Shampoo, same as always, Kiro's Daughter Wash Day Delight. Deep conditioner, Shea Moisture Manuka Honey. You got the good stuff today. So yeah, I'ma hop right in and I'ma be back, hopefully, within two hours. If I don't, call the ambulance. All right, I'm gone. See you with my hair fully washed. All right, so I'm back, hair is washed. You don't have to call the ambulance. And we're gonna get right into this video, okay? So today's featured product is the Shea Moisture Curl Stretch Pudding. I got this a while ago and I use it on my blown out hair, but not my natural hair. That's what I'm doing today. And if I remember correctly, the, sm mm -hmm. the smell is horrible. I don't like the smell, but I'm interested to see if this is gonna stretch my curls a little bit. If it does, then I can bear the smell, doesn't even matter. So I always have my same accessories, my scrunchies, hair clips, and then my spray bottle. I forgot to fill it, so I'm gonna have to fill it later. I'm excited to try this out. I don't wanna waste no more time, so let's just go. I think today I'm gonna start in the front try something different. This is something that I never do. I never start in the front of my hair. I'm also trying a different recording style. This is me recording from my back camera and I'm like looking over here so I can, cause I got a mirror in the back and I'm looking at that, looking at me like, it's a lot going on that you don't even see. It has um, red palm oil and cocoa butter. It has that type of consistency. Mm. This doesn't really mix with anything else that I've tried to mix it with. So I'm like, okay, do it by itself then. It is kind of defining my curls a little bit, which I'm not mad at, but it's also, some of it's not absorbing into my hair. I mean, it's kind of defining, but it's also not really absorbing. It's shrinking. It, huh? How is it shrinking when it's supposed to be stretching? staying though oh okay but i have a strong inkling that this is gonna give me flakes because this is literally just sitting on top of it i'm not too convinced about this product so far do you see it just sitting on top of there like that this is making me nervous. I just stopped falling on my head. Oh my gosh. At this point, I will be shocked if I don't have flakes because I really don't think I should keep going. It doesn't really feel moisturized. Oh no. No, 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 no. It doesn't help that I don't use butters, so I don't even know how butters are supposed to work. I don't know if this is a good thing, if this is a bad thing, like, I think I'm gonna just keep going and have this video be what it be because I don't know. I don't have high hopes for this. Like, look at it. My toys have never looked like that. There's no shine. There's nothing. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest and I will come back when I'm done, I guess. <laughs> All right, so I'm back, my hair is done. <laughs> I have really mixed feelings about it because when I was doing this side, it wasn't sitting on top of my hair as much as when I was doing this side, the twist for here. <sighs> I don't know. It, that you can't really see it now, so that's why it's giving me a little bit of hope that it's gonna dry clear. I feel like it's gonna be really frizzy. My hair is not shiny at all. Mm, I don't really see much of like a difference here. I feel like it's shrinking the same and everything. So I'm gonna come back tomorrow when this is fully dry 
take it down and see what type of stretch this product is giving me. I hope it's not a fail. I hope it like turns out decent enough for me to wear. All right, so I'm back. It is the next day. My hair is fully dry. And I know I didn't have any hope in this yesterday, but there's no white residue on my head like I thought there would be. Like, do you guys see white flakes? Cause I don't. And I'm just like, I really thought I was gonna have flakes. I was gonna have a fail. I really thought I was gonna give up today. But I have a little bit of hope, so let's just get into it. So what I'm looking for in this twist out is a stretch. I'm trying to see like how shrunken it is when I take it down because this is claiming to stretch my hair. I want to see that stretch. Like you can't market something, a curl stretch pudding and then not have it stretch anything. And so far I ain't seeing much. I am noticing that my hair is very moisturized still. I just wish it didn't smell like that though. So I just finished taking it down. I didn't do nothing to it. I just unraveled it, separated it. And this is what I got. This side is more poofed out than this side. It's giving me limp. I don't know what to make of this. You know, I'm not mad at these results at all. I actually like it. Do I feel like it stretched my curls a little bit a little bit because you know for one side is giving me more of a stretched look more so than the other but overall it's like a little bit of a difference just a little bit would i recommend this yes i would but mostly because of the moisture my hair feels so good right now Mm, my hair feels great, okay? The moisture in this thing is A1. Would I recommend it more so for stretching? Not really. If you want like a little bit of a stretch, a little bit, a little bit of oomph for day one, then yeah, go ahead, buy it. I would give this probably a seven out of 10 just because the moisture is amazing in this thing and it's not a perfect 10 because the stretch I got is okay. If you like this video, do not forget to like it down below. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Comment down below what you think about this curl stretch pudding. Don't forget to follow me on my socials, my TikTok. Ticky talk talk and also follow me on my instagram i am super active on there and yeah thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one bye